Simply put, I wish that every woman, every girl and everywhere achieve their maximum potential, become who they want to be. So tell me, how are attitudes towards family planning changing in Nigeria and, in, and what else you're observing around the world as you travel? Thank you very much. I must say that uh, a little progress has been made because initially I work in northern Nigeria. They're very much conservative and before now we dare not talk about family planning. At most we talk about childbirth spacing. But over time a few communities are receptive and I'll tell you why. We begin to know the impact or the, it is necessary to engage the community and traditional leaders and of course the men and the boys in the community. So we plan with them, not just for them. So at the inception we call them and this is what we want to do. This is why you need family planning. It is important. So, oh, so you mean this is it? Even the religious leaders will give it some of the backing and like, yeah, that's okay. If that is what you want to do, we didn't know it could be this beneficial to our people and that's why we kicked against it. So engaging them, not just community dialogue, real engagement with them right from the scratch works perfectly well. So how have you convinced these community leaders? How have you gotten them to change their minds on these issues? Okay, uh, when we started out, we did a lot of community engagement and we let them know the benefit of it. So in most of those community, now they know, okay, I agree that my daughter even needs to know about her health, she needs to know about family planning, even before she gets married. And that's because it is very important and my wife too needs it so we can, she can be healthy and the family too can be healthy and it's caught across so many uh, so many spheres, that's economically, socially, and it's very beneficial. So how did we get them to do it? By engaging them, by letting them know the benefits. So most times they say, we didn't know, but now that we know, we embrace it. But then not all of them do. And I think it's a gradual process for every communication, uh, behavioral change. It doesn't happen suddenly, but then we are, we step forward.